But today I want to talk to you about chia seeds because I learned something new about them. Um, up until this point, everything I've heard about them was you don't have to grind them. You can just eat them, it's fine, um, it's no problem. So I, I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference, but these are not ground, these are just whole... No, you can't tell. These are whole chia seeds, they're, um, you know, they feel like little tiny poppy seeds, basically. Um, and they're good for you. They have omega-3 in them. They have protein in them. They're full of fiber. Um, they're definitely a really good option. They're not just for pets. No. <laughs> you know, Chia Pet, for those that remember. No, they're not. Although, I guess you, you probably could sprout them. I'm sure yeah. they grow just fine. Um, but we buy them in bulk. We buy them at Costco in a very large bag because we eat them every day. Well, not on fasting days. Not on fasting but days. But every day we eat oatmeal, we put chia seeds in them. And we have, up until now, always just thrown them in there whole, just like that. But I recently saw someone posted something that said, oh, you should always grind your chia seeds. And I was like, hey, can you show? give me some science? Give me something that says that because everything I've seen doesn't. And she shared a link to um, a... a Ab the abstract, basically, just the first part of, of a paper that showed where they gave people chia seeds um, whole, mm -hmm. chia seeds ground, and then another something that was supposed to be the control. And what they found was that whole ones didn't raise the precursors to um, omega-3, like they did the, what they measured to measure omega-3, didn't raise it the same as grinding them. And so then I was like, okay, so then I did a little bit of research myself, did, um, did some searching myself, and I did find that the new thing is go ahead and grind them. So we've been putting them through our uh, coffee grinder, the one that we use for flaxseed. And at first I felt like it's not gonna, like they're so little, how can it make a yeah. difference? But it does, and I'm, I'm gonna see if I can show you without spilling so them everywhere. They went from little black dots. Yeah, and but the weird thing is, is that when you grind them, maybe you can see it, yes. it looks like black pepper. you see pepper. the difference? And so you can see the difference. You like can. That's you grayer. can tell the difference. This is yeah. grayer. But when you so you put like a tablespoon of this in your food, it looks like you dumped a tablespoon of black pepper right. on your food, and it it freaks your brain out a little bit. At least right. it. But it's not. Like. Doesn't taste like a tablespoon of black pepper. No, it doesn't. They actually they don't really taste like anything. They don't taste like anything. No, exactly. The other thing you can do is you can soak them. Um, chia seeds will get kind of a, a jelly, kind of gelatin um, aspect to them if you soak them. That apparently works just as well. And they also use that for like an egg replacement. Right. But they'll uh, soak chia seeds. And at some, do we have it on our website? Somewhere we have, we have break it down. How many, uh, it is on our website right. somewhere. Yeah, I don't how know many, where it like is. How many tablespoons of chia seeds compared to how many eggs and what the breakdown is if you're... You know, like baking with eggs, you yeah. can bake with chia seeds instead. So this weekend when I made um, the lemon cupcakes for Russ's birthday, I frosted them with a lime frosting that is uh, tofu, and it had it uses chia seeds as the... Um, Face? The thickener. The thickener. To right. kind of make... And I wondered, I was worried that it was just going to run off of the cupcakes, but it actually did get, you know, to be a pretty nice consistency. Mm -hmm. And it's really good. Like, I can eat it by the spoonful. Yeah. Um, it's basically... Um, tofu, lime um, zest, zest, a little bit of and the lime lime juice from one lime, and then some chia seeds. I think like two tablespoons or something of chia seeds, and I ground them, right. and it worked really well. Right, and for now, so so for our breakdown for what we do to seeds, it's both chia seeds and flax seeds that we do grind. That we do grind, yeah. Right. And we've done the research and found that that that's the best way for your body to absorb the nutrients that are in there. And that's new for chia seeds for yeah. us. We uh, we hadn't done that previously. So that's what I wanted to share today. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily dice an onion without um, without crying. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. I'm going to try and set it up so that you'll be able to see it. But I think that's what we're going to do this week is kind of share some cooking tips, ways to, to do this effectively. So. Did you have anything else you want to share with them about chia seeds? Uh, we're gonna no. make it under We're right. making them quick. We're trying yeah. to make them shorter. So with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.